Good day, good day! <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and I got something a little bit different for you today. Um, yeah, uh, this is different than an unboxing Saturday. We're just kind of taking a look at uh, stuff I've found recently and is kind of unique. All right, we're going to leave the best to last. That's that back there. Um, let's go in chronological order. Uh, I bought this bugger the other day. Yeah, um, I don't buy a lot of uh, non uh, Land Rover stuff, but uh, Walmart does carry some of this uh, Tomika stuff or Tommy stuff. And uh, uh, I bought a little Jimmy before, a uh, little uh, Suzuki Jimmy, because I used to have one of those. This is a rival to the Land Rover. This is the uh, Mercedes uh, G-Class, very nice vehicle. Now this is very heavy. This is all metal die cast up here on the top. Opening doors, big metal die cast uh, uh, rear um, spare cover there. Opening doors, now it does not have real riders, but they are plastic tires, but it does has suspension anyway so that's interesting I, I walmart's got those i just picked that up for uh fun of it the other thing is uh matchbox is doing a bunch of retro um uh cars they're going back to the old roots and picking up uh some of the stuff that they used to do which was uh mbx field car is one of them now i think you know i I don't know if they're doing any now this one I, I think I bought at Walmart or whatnot uh, I don't know what all is going to be in this um, it looks like there's gonna be a hundred cars in it so hopefully one will be a Land Rover but um, kind of an off-road truck for 94 cents I'll pick it up uh, talking about Matchbox now this is interesting this was the only one that I found in the store and it wasn't even on the pegs it was um, laying down on the shelf this ladies and gentlemen is the new packaging supposedly for matchbox is this here now this is the moving parts uh series so i don't know if it's just for the moving parts uh series i saw this on lamley group this is quite unique quite uh different it's an oval type uh, packaging versus the traditional square stuff um, just really kind of really kind of weird um, one of the reasons um, that Lamley uh, John over there talked about now this is this is the uh, 2000 Nissan Xterra which I do have a couple of these um, you know whatever but uh, it's not a Land Rover but it's a you know pretty cool off-roader but anyway the reason supposedly for this is if you are a youngster and you are looking up at the shelf now imagine that this is vertically you know but if you were looking up at these hanging on the pegs that you would be able to see what car it was versus just the sole the bottom of the the sole of the feet of the car now us adults we shop them like this but as a kid you would see this so uh kind of interesting i just kind of picked this up one uh because you know it was in mint condition and uh i don't know if they'll ever do uh the uh, the range rover in this uh packaging i don't know if that's part of this set or not um but this was there and so i picked it up uh very very cool so that was kind of some of the new things that are out there in the die cast um um venue the other new thing is this one here this is the hot wheels new for 2021 the uh 2020 the 2021 bronco ford bronco this is uh yeah the then then and now series this is uh um long anticipated i'm gonna open this one up because i have a couple of them i do kind of collect if i can or 
whatnot. Some of the off-road um, other trucks, not a lot of them or anything like that. Just what kind of pleases the eyes. But it's interesting. Um, so this is the new Bronco. If you don't know, Ford came out with a new Bronco. This is the Hot Wheels version of it. Um, interestingly enough, I have not yet bought the um, new Defender um, uh, die cast. I want to. I am, uh, got it in my cart. I'm just about ready to pull the trigger there. It says Bronco there on the back of that, uh, that uh, tire cover. That's kind of neat. Or does it say Bronco? Yeah, I think it B R O N C K Bronco. Yeah, I guess that sells Bronco. It's not very good, um, but uh, wow, kind of plain base there on it. But this is new. This is brand new. So I've got one on the card. I just kind of collect this one here. Very very interesting. Uh, let me just. Uh, pull this down off of here oh this is my custom one about the same size as the uh, defender that they just put out from Hot Wheels so kind of neat kind of kind of neat to see the counterparts there really kind of cool um, so anyway uh, as soon as I get a uh, Land Rover um, equivalent to this new Bronco and you know I, I'm a purist. I really am. I'm I, I just a purist. And in, in when I had my trucks, my my real Land Rovers and stuff like that, I always wanted to use genuine OEM Land Rover parts. Uh, I love the old heritage of, of Land Rover, and uh, Defender is my most favorite truck all. But I don't understand why there's such a big flap for the new the, the new Defender. Uh, matter of fact, uh, filming this, I saw one in real life, uh, the Defender four-door go flying by me on the interstate or across the way, opposite direction on the interstate. So that was the first time I've ever seen a new Defender in person. Um, uh, it's a totally different thing. It, it, I mean, it's it's a vehicle for today. It's the it's the. For goodness sake, it's the 22nd century, you know, <laughs> the 21st century. Let's move on. Yes, the old is the classic and it's the great, but the new stuff is just as great. Uh, modern technology, welcome and embrace it. But anyway, the flap that we, that is from what, where I stand, the flap here in the U.S. that I get from across the board from all Land Rover groups is they are so upset with the new Defender. Whereas the new um, Bronco here, the new Ford Bronco, I have not heard much flap or disagreement or you know anything about that. They are glad that they're it's back and that they get to have such a fine uh, vehicle, you know? Um, now I have heard uh, <laughs> upset thoughts about turning the Mustang into an SUV and making that electric, but <laughs> who wouldn't? But there you go. Anyway, that's a little story about this here. Um, so we'll be, we'll be talking about this one again eventually someday when um, I get another uh, when I get a uh, die cast uh, of the new Defender. All right, so uh, this is the latest thing that I got that was um, Land Rover and this came from Hobby Lobby yes uh, now it's about 60 miles away from where I live uh, the nearest Hobby Lobby in La Crosse uh, I went to the store I really don't have good luck at Hobby Lobby buying die casts they have um, M2s they have um, green lights they have all kinds of stuff uh, you know per se but nothing that carries uh land rover so here they are they had some majorettes now i'm not sure if this is going to be uh, a permanent thing at hobby lobby uh or they just got one case when i got there this one land rover defender 110 was there with three volkswagen bugs yeah and i passed up on those so anyway, so this is very interesting. We are not going to open it. No. Hey, look at that. It's imported by Jada. 
So there we go. Let's get it in here, huh? Yes. Um, we're not going to open this because this is something that I don't have. This is a deluxe car. This has got the real rider rubber tires as far as I understand what deluxe is. Oh, here. Metal body, rubber tires, suspension, opening doors, license the vehicle. Look at that. So there we go. Opening parts. That's the hood, the doors, the front doors. Uh, I don't think the back opens. No. Nope. Uh, rubber tires, uh, kind of gaudy on the uh, the wheels. Uh, the tires, eh, all right. I mean, they're, at least they're not uh, wagon wheels like <laughs> like so. I hate those wheels. Even the Bronco doesn't even look good. Just just making some nice wheels, huh? Uh, you know. Uh, and then uh, licensed vehicle. So the top is metal. So the metal doors, metal everything like that. Pretty pretty cool. Um, the other thing is I don't have a uh, Deluxe. Now this is one of the first ones that I've got, uh, the Majorette. Uh, and I think I, I had to buy these off um, off of eBay and uh, they get kind of spendy. But a much smaller card, um, I don't know if we can really show that, but a much smaller card, these, these next two compared to that. Now these two are the same. Uh, card. So the first one that I've got was this one here, and um, uh, I don't think a major exclusive. Oh yeah, series. Well, no, that's not series. But anyway, this is racing cars, and so I don't know if this is like a Dakar Rally type racing, but um, does look like it has an opening hood to it, and um, you know, and. Uh, uh, yeah, just uh, plastic, plastic wheels, plastic base, metal body. Uh, oh yeah, there goes the hood. Yep, there goes the hood. And uh, you know what? Hold on a second. I just remembered. Um, I have one of these. This is the first one. I bought two of them at the same time. So this is what we're basically looking at here. Now that we can, I, I remembered I had one open. I had to go over to the uh, cabinet there and open it up. So yeah, uh, once I saw that it had an opening hood. Now this one doesn't open up uh, as freely as the other one. But anyway, not uh, opening front doors, but that's it. But this is the basic casting. Um, the next one that I had, oh, this is a plastic base, metal, metal body, plastic base, plastic tires, Kind of goofy on the uh, rim choice, but that's all right. But then this one is a premium cars. And uh, now this one uh, is uh, the same basic thing, but this one is going to be, uh, uh, I think the premium is a better paint job or not as flashy. Like, well, this one was the racing, so they had to have it. But this one has uh, rubber tires, what's like on the, um, the deluxe car has just the opening hood, which is like on the uh, racing car. But uh, yeah, very, very nice there. Um, just plastic wheels, uh, not painted like this one. I think those are the same wheels. But uh, are those are those rubber wheels? Oh, I am mistaken. Those are just plastic wheels. Nope, those are just plastic wheels on the premium. I think the premium gets a nice paint job and has the opening doors there. So there you go. Uh, that's just it. There you go. That's my um, that's my find for the week. You know, and uh, just kind of look at what's going on out there in the diecast world. Uh, keep your eyes open for if you're a, a orange collector uh, for you know the new style, the retro uh, stuff. Take a look at this moving parts. I believe it's only in the moving parts uh, uh, that they're doing this different packaging. And then uh, keep your eye out for, you know, neat, interesting cars that are kind of, uh, well, you know what? They're Land Rover wannabes. That's all. <laughs> They're just Land Rover wannabes. <laughs> That's it. Just right there, right? <laughs> all right. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys kind of had a, a different look of uh, Land Rover stuff as well as other die-cast things out there today. All right, that's it. Your friend Dano signing off. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.